Hello everybody, in this video I guide you through how you install the Auto Trader from Metagrid and how you set up it that it works correctly. Please watch first the other video in this playlist where I explain how the Auto Trader takes trades, how that looks like that you can understand uh, this trading method. Um, first of all, you need a new newest version of Metagrid, so the Metagrid Auto Trader has not an own file. It's included in the normal Metagrid Trade Manager. On your Google Drive link, you find always the newest version of Metagrid, and you can see it here. Um, you download the file for Windows, you double click on it and then Metagrid, the newest version, will be installed to your computer. And in this version is the AutoTrader automatically included. But you need of course the AutoTrader subscription that you can run the AutoTrader. Or you need a lifetime version from Meta for Metagrid uh, AutoTrader that you can activate the AutoTrader itself. If you have not a Windows computer, you will also find manual installation files on your Google Drive link. You got this link from us after you purchased um, Metagrid. If you have installed the newest version of Metagrid, we make a little check if the Metagrid file is really installed on your MT4 software. Um, here is the button for the navigator window. If you don't see it, you click here on it, then you get this window. Um, here in the section when you scroll, you see the indicators and expert advisors. Here in the section expert advisors, you should here have the file Metagrid. Then you know the installation uh, has worked well and uh, all is um, correct. Now we check uh, if the MT4 itself is ready for auto trading. First of all, check here if you see here this um, green um, symbol on auto trading. If it like this, then you see here a red symbol, a red stop sign. Then it says auto trading is deactivated. In this case, the Metagrid and the Metagrid auto trader does not work. So please activate this if in case you have here a red symbol. And then let's check if the settings on MT4 are also correct for auto trading. We click here on tools options and then here is the tab expert advisors it should look like this you check here allow auto trading and uncheck the next three fields and then check allow dll and check allow web requested for listed urls and normally it looks like this um, but um, please check it if it is the same on your mt4 this free should not be checked because if they are checked uh, MT4 deactivates every time the auto trading if you change uh, the account, for example, and this is really annoying. So please have it this way, where you don't have to care about this here, because these uh, settings are made automatically uh, from the installation process. Please um, check only if you have here the check, here the check and here checked, and this free not. Then you can click on OK, and then we are ready to go uh, to start the Metagrid Auto Trader. The first thing we do before we um, go to the charts. We have to decide uh, which pairs the auto trader should use for trading because the auto trader selects its pairs automatically. It wants to trade. It looks for the best signals on all these pairs. And so all the pairs you have here on your market watch window uh, will be traded from um, Metagrid. This is my list of uh, pairs. I let the auto trader trade. If you don't want this, you have to change here the list, okay? For example, if you don't want to have in, uh, let's say, the um, pound DKK, you select this pair with your mouse, then you make a right mouse click, and then you click here on hide. And then this pair is deleted from your market watch window, and then the Metagrid Auto Trader will not use this pair. The opposite is if you want to add here a pair, you can go anywhere with your mouse in this list. You make a right mouse click and you use symbols. And then you get here the option what you want to add to your um, market watch list. For example, you can see I don't have activated the metals because I don't like them so much. But if you want to, for example, add um, here gold um, to your market watch list, then you uh, select it here. You make a double click. If it's yellow and you click on close, then it's added here to your market watch window. Please don't use indices for the Metagrid Auto Trader. The Metagrid Auto Trader is not made for indices at the moment. It is made for Forex pairs. You can see I have the majors, I have the minors, and I have the Forex exotics in my list. And these are the pairs my, on my MT4 will be traded here from the Auto Trader. So please make this first that you select the pairs you want to have. Now let's start the Auto Trader. 
We used here a one chart, for example, the first one, the Aussie dollar. We open here this chart. It's an empty chart, as you can see. And now we uh, use the template for the MetaGrid Auto Trader. For this, we make here a right mouse click on our chart. We use template, load template, and then you should find in your list a template which says MetaGrid Auto Trader. Please use this template on, and click on open. Then you can see the normal MetaGrid uh, will be loaded, like you know it if you have MetaGrid already. But now the MetaGrid Auto Trader is active as you can see it started. Um, maybe you get an error message now because you have one thing to change uh, and that is the license um, um, on the template. So we make the uh, following. We uh, click here on the chart with the right mouse uh, uh, button again and then we go to expert advisors properties and you have one thing to change and this is this field here you can see there's a zero in it it's the online id for auto license you have to add here your number okay you find the auto id on your license side from metagrid and this number you have to add here in it and then it will work on your um, mt4 this is the only thing you have to change in the template and after you changed it, after you entered your online auto update ID, we save the template again that we don't have to make this every time we want to start the auto trader. So we make again a right mouse click here. We go to a template, save template, and then we override here this one. We select again the MetaGrid auto trader template, but we override this now with our new settings. We click here on save. It gives a warning. Do you really want to override this file? We click here on uh, yes, and then your template is good to go. And you can use this template from now on um, with your auto update ID and on any pair you want. So we have now um, one pair with the MetaGrid Auto Trader on it and on this um, chart window MetaGrid will automatically select the pairs. At the moment it's on the Aussie dollar, this is the one we selected, but MetaGrid will change these pairs from time to time. Uh, normally it will change one, two, three times in an hour that it uh, selects a new pair and scans there for signals. This is totally no normal because MetaGrid selects the pairs it wants to trade. The Auto Trader selects them for itself. So um, and at the moment it's on the H1 time frame. This is not the correct time frame for the uh, MetaGrid Auto Trader. If MetaGrid selects a new pair, it will automatically change to the M15 time frame, but you can do it already now. We change here to the M15 because this is the only time frame the MetaGrid Auto Trader can use. It's the best time frame to use the signals. You can see, for example, here a buy signal from MetaGrid. Um, a really nice trade, by the way. And um, the auto trader itself, if it switches the pair, it will automatically change to M15 if you have forgotten that. But um, you can do it already now, and then it's also okay. But again, the M15 time frame is the trading fr time frame for the um, auto trader. So, so far the auto trader can only trade one pair because we have it on one chart at the moment. Um, normally, you should open the MetaGrid Auto Trader on four different charts. It depends a little bit on your account balance. If you have an account balance with over 300 euros or dollars, then you can use it on four different charts. If you only have a very small account, maybe with only 100 or 200 dollars, then you should only open the MetaGrid Auto Trader on one or two pairs. But normal uh, setting is on four different charts. This means if I have it only on one chart, MetaGrid can only trade one pair at the same time. But we want that MetaGrid can trade four pairs at the same time. So we have to open the Auto Trader three more times. So we select the next pair, uh, use a different one for the second one that we can um, have a difference between the pairs. We uh, use the Euro Dollar. It's totally um, random what you can use because the auto trader is, um, does change the pairs anyways but i use the next three pairs now so it's the euro dollar we make again chart window it's a blank chart window and now we make the right mouse click template load template and we use our metagrid auto trader template where we have just saved with the new online auto id and that's it the metagrid uh, auto trader runs now on the second pair now we use a third pair, in this case the pound dollar, we do the same, we load the template for the auto trader, it runs now on this third pair 
and a last time we use the fort pair. It's the same. We make template, lord template, and the auto trader. And now we have the auto trader from MetaGrid running on three, four different pairs. And you will see that the pairs change from time to time because MetaGrid changes these pairs. But it can uh, trade now up to four uh, pairs at the same time. You will see normally that. Uh, two or three pairs at the same time will run, sometimes all four. It depends on the signals, but now we can uh, trade four pairs at the same time. You should not use more because now you get the four best signals. If you open this on uh, 10 or 20 pairs, uh, first your computer will get very slow and second um, you, you will get a lot of uh, not so good signals because then uh, MetaGrid Auto Trader uh, tries to find on 10 or 20 pair signals and this is um, not the usage of the MetaGrid Auto Trader. The max is four. It's good if you have only two. If you have a smaller account, you use it on two pairs. If you have uh, 300, 400 or 500 dollar, then you can use it on four pairs. And this is the max uh, you should use. Even if you have a 10,000 euro account, you use it only four times. Uh, but then we change the lot size to a higher one. This is the next um, step we do. So let's decide with what lot size we want to use the auto trader. For this, we have to go here on the red menu button um, with the M on it. And then you can see it opens here our menu. The first option you have, you can say that the auto trader should always use the same lot size for every trade. Then you would um, put in here the lot size you want to have, the static lot size in this field. For example, if you want that the auto trader um, should open every trade with one micro lot, then you have here the one uh, micro lot in it. If you want that it uh, trades every trade with one mini lot then for example you would here point zero point ten so this is a static lot size if you here add a number and then the auto trader will do every time the same lot size but if you use of course exotic pairs and different pairs like i do then a static lot size is maybe not the best choice because uh, especially the exotic pairs have a, a little bit of different uh, pip count and then you need maybe higher or lower uh, lot size for uh, some trades. So, but if you use the major pairs, of course, you can use a static lot size if you want. The second option is that you use a dynamic lot size based on a fixed risk. For example, you could say every time the auto trader opens a trade, it should use a max risk of 1.5%, for example. If you want to do this, then you, we have here to add a zero in it. Then you can see it says here zero is automatic. So in this case, it uses here the risk in percent if we have a zero in the lot size field. Now, um, the auto trader would open every trade with uh, a lot size that you lose in case that uh, the candle uh, touches our stop loss, that you lose then 1.5% of your account balance. You can of course also use 2% or 3% or whatever you want, but very wise it, it's between 1% and 3% to use for fixed risk in percent. So you will see different lot sizes than in this case, uh, but every time you get a loser, you will lose um, in this case now 3% of your account or maybe 1.5% of your account. This is the second option. And there's a third option. This is the option I uh, use. This is that we tell the auto trader, yes, I want to have a max risk for my trades, but please auto trader decide for your own uh, how much of this risk you are using. This means the auto trader in its internal algorithm um, can calculate how risky a trade is. is it, if it is a trade which looks like this, this could be an easy trade or maybe this is a very difficult trade. There's an algorithm in, in it which tries to calculate and predict um, how risky that trade is. And based on this information, the auto trader can um, use different risks here in it. If you want this, that the auto trader decides uh, its own how many risk it uses, then you would do this third option. You still would put here in a zero in it or whatever you want because this field will for this method completely be ignored. It's regardless what you put in here for this third method. But important is again here the risk in percent. Here you tell the auto trader what is the maximum risk 
you want that the auto trader uses. For example, we could say 4%. And then this is the max risk the auto trader will use for its trades, but it will use for every trade a different risk. Maybe it uses on a trade which looks very easy, the complete 4%, then you would lose 4% in case that this trade goes wrong. Uh, on the next trade, maybe the auto trader would only use 1% or 2% or a half percent, but never more than 4% like you took in it. But we have to tell the auto trader that we want this dynamic um, calculation. For this, we have to go in the settings for the auto trader. We make a right mouse click on the chart. We go to expert advisors and properties. And then we get here this field with the settings. And we scroll down here to the section where it says settings for auto trader. And then you can see here a uh, section auto trader decides lot size. I have it to true. And this means the auto trader can completely um, use its own lot size, whatever it wants based on the risk of the trade, but it never will use more then 4% of your account in this case, because we put here a 4 in it. So maybe sometimes it uses only 2%, 3%, 1%, a half percent. It's totally dynamic, but you will never lose more than 4%. It depends really um, on the calculation of the auto trader, how risky the auto trader thinks the trade is. I have this to true. And you can decide here what max risk you want to have. Maybe you only want to have a 2% uh, risk, then the auto trader would with this setting use a half percent, one percent, 1.5 percent and max 2 percent. It's up to you how many percent you want to risk, what you want to allow the EA to use. Um, I normally use here a, f a 3 percent um, if, we, I, if I have this option on in, in the most times I have this option that the auto trader can decide um, dynamically how many it wants uh, to risk per trade. Then you have to check the add multiplier setting. Here uh, it has to be a 1.6 in it. Um, the Metagrid auto trader is not a Martingale EA and it's not a grid EA, but sometimes in maybe 10% of the cases it will open a second trade on a pair. And this second trade will then be opened with a 1.6 higher lot size. And um, you can also put a 2 in it, then it uh, opens the second trade uh, with the double lot size as the first uh, uh, trade. But 1.6 is safer in this case. Again, it's not a Martingale and not a Gritty A, but in 10% of the cases Metagrid will open on a pair a second trade. Um, and then it uses here this multiplier. It should be 1.6. The pending mode um, has to be limit. And then we need 0, 0, 0, 0 for the grids because we don't want to have grids. Um, please turn the stop loss also to 0 because uh, the Metagrid Auto Trader will automatically uh, calculate the uh, stop loss for you. The same is here a 0. And then important, here on the take profit, we have to add uh, 6 times a 9. And this means that um, Metagrid will not use a take profit, not a target. I explained this in the first video. Metagrid uh, calculates the target by a trailer and with the price action. We don't want to have a static take profit. Please make here six nines in it, especially because it uses also exotic pairs. We can't have here any number in it. So six times the nine, this means we have no take profit. Here we have a zero in it and here it's regardless what you use because this field is not used from the auto trader and here you don't have to care about it because Metagrid will change the number dynamically here. It's regardless what is in here. Important are the other fields here. If we have done this, we click here on save and then um, these settings are saved. We can close here the menu and these settings will be used on the other pairs too. Even if we now open it and it has not the settings in it, uh, the next time a trade will be opened, Metagrid will use the settings from the first pair for all the other ones, okay? So you uh, only have to do this one time on the first pair. On all other pairs, it will use then um, the same settings uh, the next time. Okay, then we are ready uh, to go. This It's all. The Metatrader is running and the Auto Trader is running. Uh, now we only have to wait for signals and that's the complete installation process. We have now Metagrid Auto Trader run on all 
this four pairs, it scans for it. And now at the end of this video, I show you some special settings and what you have um, to have in mind and to watch uh, if, the, if all is working correct. First of all, you should uh, every day on the morning uh, check your computer and your MT4 if the auto trader is still operate and running. It can happen that MT4 has a problem overnight or that there is an error uh, with the data of the MT4 and uh, Metagrid could not catch this data and then it stops trading. And so on every day at the morning you should check if the four pairs are still running. You do this by click on the M button. If it opens this menu, you know that the auto trader is running. You do the same on the second pair. Yes, it works. On the third pair. Yes, it works. On the fourth pair. Yes, it works. And then it's good to go for the day. You should do this every day at the morning because uh, it can happen that MT4 has a problem and stopped here the auto trader. This is the thing you have to do one time a day and that you check all is running well here. Then we go uh, to the special settings for the auto trader. I will explain to, uh, uh, the settings to you. We make a right mouse click again, expert advisors properties, and we go here to the auto trader settings again. Here, uh, the zero in it means the auto trader is uh, turned on. You can see on off semi zero means the auto trader is turned on and it will trade automatically all signals. If you change this to one, then the auto trader will not trade signals anymore but it will manage your own trades. So this means if you have uh, opened the own trade with the buttons here, then Metagrid will watch these trades, will babysit the trades for you. You have to uh, place an own target and own stop loss, but Metagrid will then babysit the trade for you. It will close the trade earlier if the price action, action changes and it will make an automatically break even for you if the time is right. This is the semi-auto mode. It does not trade signals if there's an one in it, but it helps to pay visit your own trades. If you want not the auto trader to burn, turn on, then you have a two in it, then the auto trader is completely turned off. It does not auto trade signals and it does not babysit uh, your own trades. But for the auto trader itself, if you want to have it to trade automatically, we have here the zero in it. These two fields um, tell the auto trader which kind of signals you want to trade. Here are the auto trade uh, auto uh, trade order levels. You see there is a missing uh, O here. I have to change this in the final release. Um, so this is the auto trade order levels. If you have this here to true, it will trade a strong order level. So our a strong uh, buy or sell order positions. Um, if you don't want this, you make it to false. The second one are the auto trade arrows. These are the blue ones. You can see again a very nice uh, buy trade, by the way. Um, if you have this to true, the auto trader will trade here this arrow signals. I have both to true, of course. I already explained to you this uh, option for the lot sizes. This is auto choose pairs. This tells the auto trader that it selects automatically the pairs here from your list. You should let this to true. Um, if you make it to false, the auto trader will stay on the pair. You edit the auto trader and activated the auto trader. It will not change the pair. The problem with this is that you then get all signals on this pair and the auto trader cannot filter the signals. It will take any signal it gets. So you will get the good and the bad signals. I would not recommend to do this. Let the auto trader decide which pairs it wants to trade. If you make this to true, you get every time the auto trader selects a new pair an alert. I would turn this to false because you get a lot of alerts over the day. Um, but if you want to see that the um, auto trader changes a pair, then you can make this to uh, true and you will get, get an alert. Please don't change this here. This is the price action time frame setting. This is only for me for testing uh, because I'm testing now metals and indices with the auto trader and I watch if I use here a different number how the auto trader reacts to this. This is, has nothing to do with the time frame the auto trader trades on. This is a really internal setting. It's too complicated to explain now. Most probably I will remove this field later, but at the moment I make a lot of testings with, like I told you, metals and indices, and I change around a little bit the number here. Please don't change it, let it here to 30. Otherwise you uh, get no signals or uh, false signals. And here, um, this is the um, last setting for the auto trader. 
it's too true it's this button here because if you have this too true you have the auto trader button on your chart and you can stop the auto trader with this button here this is really helpful for example if there are there is the nfp data released or there's a big news event and you want to stop the auto trader for some hours then you have here this button on your chart and you can uh, stop the auto trader very easy on the chart without going here into the settings okay and this button is uh, very interesting too because it can change through all the three modes of the auto trader. Uh, this what you see on this button tells you what happens next if you click on it. So at the moment if you would now click on this button it would stop scanning. This means it would not trade signals anymore. We do this. And now it changed here the message you can see this now the auto trader does not trade the signals anymore but it still activate for your own trades. so we are now in the semi mode it does babysit your own trades again the message here on the button tells you what happens next if you click on it so if i click again on this button it stops the auto trader completely now you can see this message is here gone now auto trader active and now the auto trader is completely turned off it does not trade signals and it does not babysit your own trades again this message message tells us what happens next if i click now again on this button the ea starts again the auto trader starts again and it begins to scan for signals now you can see auto trader is active again and now it trades signals again it trades signals and babysits the signals and with this you can switch through the different modes of the auto trader the um, normal position is this one if it says stop scanning this is what happens next if you click on the button then the auto trader is active and um, um, uh, trades the signals okay so if you want to turn off the auto trader uh, before a news event uh, like uh, the nfp then you click two times on this button and then you can see this message auto trader active disappears and now the auto trader will not do anything if you click one time again the auto trader is again active this is uh, um, how it looks like if the auto trader trades signals it says here stop scanning because this is the next what happens if you click on the button and it says auto trader active then it uh, trades signals automatically and I come here to the end of the setup video. Um, one thing I want to uh, tell you is the end of a trading day. The auto trader trades normally between the beginning of the Asia Asia session and it stops uh, new to take new signals uh, two hours after the London session. But if a trade was open, for example, let's say one hour before the London session ends and there is a trade uh, opened. Um, and it has not reached um, at the target or in this case the trailer was not activated it's still running and it's maybe not in profit then i personally close these trades i close the trades one or two hours before the new york session ends if i have still a trade running uh, two hours before the new york session ends i close the trades manually by clicking here on the close all button i don't care if the trade is in profit or not i close it because i want don't want to hold the trade overnight it's up to you if you want to do this um, you can decide this i do it that way that i don't uh, go with the trades overnight um, it's totally up to you if you want to do this or not but um, i had good results with this that i don't hold the trades overnight because then we get new order blocks and uh, maybe the price action changes so um, of course um, it, it can happen that a loser gets overnight to a winner and the opposite but this is the uh, way i do it that i close open trades uh, two hours before the new york session ends have fun with the auto trader um, i hope uh, you will catch a lot of uh, good trades with it it's a very easy installation process i think you have only to check some things and then it runs and don't forget that you on every morning check here with the m button that all four pairs are still running and that the auto trader is still active have a nice day goodbye until the next time